Welcome to Rhythm and Blues, a story of arrhythmias and cyanosis. I'd like to give a thank you to our sponsors who generously sponsored this talk, to our publishers who allowed us to use a lot of the uh, images from our book, Life-Threatening Cardiac Arrhythmias for the Small Animal Practitioner, to our students, and of course to our pets. In this talk, we'll cover a little brief on normal ECG review, and then we'll go into bradyarrhythmias, tachyarrhythmias, and a little bit at the end on pericardial effusion. When we talk about arrhythmias, it's really important to remember the normal order of electrical activity. In health, there are three intrinsic pacemakers, the SA node, the AV node, and the Purkinje fibers. These tissues can take over pacemaking function of the heart if the previous tissue is not working. So the AV node can take over function of pacemaker activity if the SA node is not working. And the Purkinje's can take over if the AV is not working. So in health, we have three uh, fail-safes just in case the previous one is not working. The reason the SA node works the majority of the time in health is because it is set at a faster rate. So whatever rate is fastest will always win in the heart. So the SA is faster than the AV, which is faster than the Purkinje's. So in order of rate, we have SA, which is fastest, the, and the SA is just the normal heart rate of that dog or cat. The AV node is less fast, and then the Purkinje's are the slowest. So if the SA node and the AV node are not working and the Purkinje's kick in with an escape rhythm, that will be the slowest rate. And the Purkinje's are usually very slow in dogs, maybe 20 beats per minute, and a fair amount faster in cats. They can be 80 to up to even 120 has been reported in cats. Now that was in health. In disease, any cardiomyocyte can initiate a beat. The key here is that this would be a diseased tissue. So an area of the ventricle that is either ischemic or uh, for some reason is infarcted, that can take over as pacemaker function only if the rate is faster than the SA node. So if we have a ventricular area of area of the ventricle where the ventricle is beating at 180 beats per minute in a dog, that can take over pacemaking function. Again, the fastest rate will always win in the heart. Now here you can see the SA node at the top of the heart. It gives off an impulse that goes through the atria to the little yellow button, which is the AV node. The impulses co uh, coalesce in the AV node and then travel down the His bundle and eventually end up in the Purkinje's. If the SA is not working, the AV takes over. If the AV node is not working, the Purkinje's take over. Now, when we have impulses coming from the SA node or the AV node, they are going in the normal direction down the heart, and we will have an upright and narrow QRS. If we have impulses coming from the Purkinje's, they will come travel backward, and we will have a wide and bizarre QRS complex. This is one way we can differentiate ventricular beats from supraventricular beats. So just to reiterate, in health we have three pacemakers, the SA, the AV, and the Purkinje's. In disease, any cardiac cell can become a pacemaker, and the rate will always win. Now this becomes important when we're talking about differentiating an, an escape rhythm. So that would be where the SA node is not working, the AV node is not working, and we have an escape rhythm coming from the ventricle, and a ventricular tachycardia, which is also an impulse coming from the ventricle. The, the rhythm will look exactly the same. The rate is what distinguishes whether it is a, an escape rhythm, which will be a slow rate, from a tachycardia or ventricular tachycardia, which will be a fast rate. 